Can we see some more animals? Yeah. 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 Y
and she's not done because she can lay over 40 of them in the mating season. They are equivalent to a dozen chicken eggs, and they are edible. On your left hand side, those are the kudas, also known as the Barbary sheep. You know that closely relates to the goat, they spend a lot of their time up in mountains. And this is also their back to in this section as well. We are going to go into Queensland, we are going to get to see one of those here. The male, if there are multiple males in a flag, the one with the darkest mane and largest body is the alpha. The male's main job of the flag is catching the hyenas, jackals, and other male lions. The females do most of the hunting, but the male will join if it is a time of desperation. Despite the fact that females do most of the hunting, the male will eat first, the females eat second, and the cubs eat last. They are the only social cat species, meaning that they're the only ones who live with other species, other cat species, other of their own kind. They do uh, hunting groups, and that does help their success rates. And they do pass those hunting uh, hunting strategies from generation to generation. They are the rest of that right now, so obviously conservation is the preservation of the kind. Correct. But those of you that see studs, that's roughly the stuff that they about a year and a half about because they go over here. These plants are very slutty, but they're both dead. We're going to go to Black Bear Ridge, hopefully a better than Black Bear. see right now over there on your right hand side. The other two are playing behind the den it looks like. Mama Bear is nice and close to us right now, so you get to see her. So you can see Cinnamon, she's their only brown colored black bear. Just like you guys have different hair colors, so do they. But black is just the most common. They are great swimmers and great climbers. They also often play this common roles, which means they'll eat anything they can get their paws on. Even that lovely looking substance called the big on the tan side. Coloration. 
That white bird with that long beak kind of pecking at the ground right now is a sacred ibis. He's a symbol of thought in Egyptian mythology, and, we, and many pharaohs are actually buried with that bird. Coming up on your left hand side of the crater, you can get a nice look at the alpha male. He has those giant horns that take six years to grow. Some of his sons are starting to get their horns in. But obviously he is the alpha because when those younger males do have those conversations, they don't quite have those horns that their father do. They'll get there one day and have their herds later on in their lives. Mama's in the middle right now. With her two cubs, the female's on the ground. The male's standing, or kind of standing up. He's walking about. I think Mama Bear's the cutest out of that bunch. And then on your left hand side, because they don't section, but they are a little bit further down, so I'm going to close look at them later on. They spent about three years with our mother, which is about where these guys are on your right hand side. This mom does have two male cubs, as you can tell by that one platform. They love causing trouble for her. She's often found on the opposite side of her enclosure as her cubs. It's time for them to move out. And now on both sides of the road begins the adult section. These bears are not known for their climbing ability, but when they are cubs, they, can have, they are great climbers. But as they put on size, they do lose that ability. And they are having what looks like their lunch right now. That is their parroted feed. It contains all the nutrients that they need in order to maintain their large size and grow. It's a lunch line. Oh, but it's a lunch line. I know, it's like a lunch line. Swimmers, unfortunately, since they are eating, it doesn't look like we're really going to see any of them in the water. Hibernation. Unfortunately for these two, their dead began to flood. So six flies came in and rescued because the mothers did not know that their cubs were in danger. Unfortunately, we could not give them back to their moms because one, they smelled like human, and two, the moms didn't know that they'd had them. So it was double trouble, so six flies didn't risk bringing them back. So we have been raising them separately, but we are starting to slowly introduce them to the adult section. We are now in the wetland section of our tours to let New Jersey look like without any human interaction. If you guys do have any questions, now is a great time to ask. in and outside the pouch, and then eight months after they're born, they're off by themselves. We do have some joeys in that 16 and a month range, so hopefully we will get to see them. You can start to see them in the 
see them on your left hand side. We'll get a closer look at them. They are on the other side. Hey, do you see them? Don't worry if you don't see these ones right now. We'll get to see more of them later on. They were nestled in by that river. They can jump 20 feet forward and 10 feet high. The males are generally red, the females are generally gray. There's more coming up on your right hand side. And you do actually get to see one of the joeys around six months old. Next to in next to its mom right there. Oh, adorable. Red button. of wings that just have little bumps right there where they used to be. They are the inspiration for the Velociraptors movement in Jurassic Park. And that's because their movements are very unique because they are the only bird species with half muscles. That blue green coloration on their eyes is the same color as their eggs. Coming up on your left, you can see more of those red kangaroos over here. You can see one of the joeys has its feet out right now and its mom's pouch. See one of the bigger males walking about on your left hand side as well. Wow. These animals can bounce all their weight on their tail, which frees up their arms and legs for activities such as defending itself or serving its dominance. We are going to tigers in general, home to the Bengal and Siberian tigers. There are only 2,000 Bengal tigers left out in nature and 500 Siberian tigers. If nothing is done to curb that number, also they'll actually be extinct within the next 15 to 20 years. see the female or the, the mixed herd because there are there is the male actually right there. There are some babies that were born here this winter. Oh, and also the mixed herd of black buck as well. But as you pointed out we do get secret will. He's the biggest pink Bengal tiger that we have. He weighs 525 pounds. Wow. Bengal tigers can come in four different colors, white, black, orange, and black white and white, which is the rarest, and a tabby color, which is an orange and blonde coloration. Kuro was the star of the tiger show Six Flags used to have. He has grown a lot since then. Also on your left hand side, there's black furry beasts, or the yaks. And um, we do, if you look closely at some of the black buck, you might see some of the babies that are a little bit smaller. Some of the younger males are starting to get their horns in, and eventually they will be sent off to that bachelor herd. orange and black Bengal tiger. Unlike your house cat, both the Bengal and Siberian tigers that we'll see in a little bit are actually great swimmers. They'll go in there just to cool off and they can also use it as a hunting advantage as well. And if you thought Korea was big, these Siberian tigers are bigger than him. They can weigh over 800 pounds. They do have to have a, a bigger mass because they are in a colder environment than the Bengal tigers. So that does a lot for them to stay warm. These animals can eat over 90 pounds in one sitting. That's because they might go days or even weeks in between eating. 
But when they are fed every day, such as here at the Safari, they do only eat 25 pounds. These animals can see with one sixth, see the same as us with one sixth of light. This is one of the reasons that you must start hunting between dawn and dusk because it does give them an advantage over there. Alright, so you do get a nice chance to do a size comparison between the two of them right now. And hopefully you can see that these Siberians are much bigger than those Bengals.